In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a multiple baseline design graph uh, that is actually comprises of multiple uh, graphs. And in this case, um, uh, we have three sets of data. Okay, three sets of data, and so there are actually three different graphs that are joined together and make a, a multiple baseline design uh, the graph. And uh, you notice that in each one of the graphs, there is this baseline section as well as the intersection intervention section and they're divided by this uh, uh, phase change line and uh, it, it goes from here and it shows the horizontal change and goes to the next uh, graph and next graph so I'm going to show you how to do that and here I have already copied uh, the data uh, over to the new uh, sheet and in this sheet I have column one uh, with the subject one uh, baseline data right here and then second column is the subject uh, uh, subject one intervention data and I purposefully uh, move the intervention data to a lower uh, a few rows down and so that uh, the two of them don't overlap uh, so that when I put the face change line uh, the, in between them uh, there, there will be space for me to do that and subject two baseline data subject uh, two uh, intervention data and subject 3 baseline data subject 3 intervention data and so what I need to do is to first highlight the first subject and then go go ahead and make the graph and so I click on charts and uh, click on line and I, I want to have those markers on the line and so I'm going to uh, just go ahead and click on mark line and so I basically have my, my first graph right here uh, but in this case, I, I actually don't want to have the legend because I'm going to put the uh, the label on top. And I also want both lines to be just the same color so that it will be easier for me to print in uh, black and white uh, printers. And so I'm going to change the color. To change the color, I just need to highlight, uh, click on this line, and then uh, right click on the line or control click on a Mac, uh, right click on a PC and then go to format data series and I'm going to put this new window on the side and so you can see how uh, it actually changes the graph itself and uh, underline here uh, right now it is on automatic but I'm going to change to black okay you see the line has changed but the markers have, have not changed yet so I'm going to click on marker line okay and then I'll select black but you notice that uh, not, not a whole lot have changed uh, because I only selected marker line. The marker line is the outside you know, of the marker. You see this one? Okay. The outside of the marker has changed to black, but not the fill yet. So I'm going to click on marker fill and then select black. Okay. Now I have the black line. And I'll do the same thing with this one. Okay. And I'll right click. On a PC, on a control click uh, on a Mac, and I'll click on uh, black, and then select marker line, also select black, and I click on line itself, not the marker line, but line itself, and select black. And so now everything is black. It will be very sharp when I print it on a regular laser printer. And um, I also don't want to have these lines um, uh, at the back because it may look a little bit uh, too busy uh, yeah, for this purpose. Okay, so I don't need that. All I have to do is just double click on one of these lines, and this uh, the window will show up. And in this case, I'm going to just select no line, and so that is up here. And now the next thing I want to do uh, is to have a label, you know, that says uh, baseline and intervention okay on the two different areas and um, i'm going to go up to here and go to insert but you notice that uh, text box is not one of the choices because i have the graph uh, selected and so it only gives me the options that relates to the graph itself and so what i need to do is to click outside of the graph okay and just click anywhere outside of the graph okay we still within the, the, the excel file and now I go to insert and select text box okay and now my mouse pointer becomes an A you know representing text okay and now I can select click on anywhere and then I can type 
baseline and I uh, want to I want this to be bold so I double click on it and go up to uh, here and then I click on home and select uh, bold okay so here is the text box that I want uh, for the for the baseline area and I also want the same thing for the intervention area so this time instead of just uh, repeating the same process I want to just copy press command C to copy uh, this text box and command V to paste it I want to just move it up to make sure this, this uh, uh, both text boxes are in the same um, horizontal position and I use the arrow key on the keyboard instead of you know clicking and dragging it and after that I move it to where I want it okay I think somewhere like around here would be good and then I change the word to intervention okay looks like uh, it's overlapping with the line itself and so I move it back a little bit like right here okay so um, after that so what I need to do is to repeat the same process for each uh, subsequent sets of data so now I follow the same process that I have used to create the first set uh, first graph uh, for the first set of data and I've created the other two uh, graphs uh, for the other two sets of data and you want to line them up uh, in the same uh, vertical position and so you can put the a face change line uh, to them so I just drag this last one uh, to the same position and so now it looks like they are all in the same uh, same uh, uh, vertical position okay so the next thing to do is to create the face change line uh, what I need to do is to go to insert and shape okay insert uh, shape and I just need to click on line, you know, this line right here, and then I can go ahead and draw the line. And um, if you want it to be a, a you know, a straight line uh, that goes uh, perpendicular to the base, uh, uh, to the bottom, you want to press the Shift key while you're drawing it. Okay, so I draw it right here, and after that, I'm going to move it a little bit uh, to the kind of like in between the two. Uh, markers and um, after that you notice uh, on top that the toolbar uh, can change uh, because I've selected this this line right here and now um, I want to change the line to a dotted line so I am going to just click on this line uh, pull down menu for, uh, under the line and under dash I will select this one and I think it is a little too too thick for me so I'm going to click on the line again and go to weights and change to half point okay so now it is a, a skinnier line and I want it to be longer and so I will click the bottom uh, dots of this line and while I'm uh, uh, dragging it I press the shift key down and so it will still be a straight line uh, perpendicular to the bottom and uh, I will drag it until around here okay you always want it to be uh, above the first marker okay of the intervention and so uh, somewhere around here will be good and after that I'm going to just copy this line okay I co press command uh, C on a Mac uh, or control C on a PC and then command V uh, on a Mac uh, to, to paste it okay uh, or control C on a PC to paste it and then I'll put this uh, next face change line uh, at around right here okay now I need to have a horizontal line to join the two together so this time I'm going to paste again okay and uh, after I paste it I move it to around here and I'm going to just turn this line horizontally and the way you can tell it is you know perfectly horizontal is to look at the number you know the uh, where it says height okay you just uh, put the uh, put it until it becomes zero okay zero height that means uh, it is horizontal perfectly horizontal and I'll put it right here and then drag this point a little bit more okay and until it touches you know this second line 
and then I touch, click on the second line again and drag it down a little bit and so it doesn't uh, cut through the other line okay oh one thing I forgot to do is to actually uh, make this line uh, black so that it will be sharper when I print it and so I'll go to line again and select black and I'll do that for each one uh, of these lines okay black and after I have selected black when I just click on this pattern it will just change it to black okay and then now I need to just draw two more lines so now I have drawn the other two lines and so I'm basically done um, uh, the, uh, with this multiple baseline uh, uh, design graphs um, however if you want to use this graph let me show you what happened. So let's say, you know, I want to use this graph in a, a Word documents for my research reports. I can, uh, you know, I try to just uh, click on one of the graphs and press Control C and go to Word and press Control V. Okay. I just have one graph. Whatever I have uh, click on, um, I, I have just selected that one element. So in order to, to show, to make everything show up correctly, what, what you want to do is to actually group all the graphs elements together so that it is um, sh it will show up uh, as one uh, one graph and uh, when you need to move uh, this graph uh, you know to any location uh, everything will move together so what I need to do is to first you know select the three graphs okay I the, the way I select it is to press the shift key and then click on the next element. And since these two words are on uh, two different text box, I want to select those two also. And then uh, I want to select each one of the lines, all the horizontal as well as the vertical uh, lines. Okay. And after that, I'll right click on anywhere uh, within the, the, the elements that I've selected. Just right click or control click and then go to grouping and group. And now, everything is grouped together as one graph after i have grouped all the elements together if i have one of them selected and try to move it like this i'll still be moving just one element and so in order to have everything move at the same time uh, what i need to do is to click outside of it okay outside of anything that i've selected and then just click and drag you see now when i you know want to move this graph everything is moving together not not just clicking one of them okay just click outside of it and when you click then you just drag okay and if i press command c now to copy and go to word once you are in word you can just press command v to paste the graph um, and the graphs will be pasted right here and after that you'll be able to resize it but one thing you want to notice is that when you're resizing it uh, you, you notice the text here is cut off because um, when you're resizing the graph the text is not resized and so you may want to just uh, select the, the text box and you can resize the text right here inside word and uh, one thing i've noticed is that when uh, sometimes when you, you click on the text box uh, it may not let you uh, resize it like like in this case you notice you know uh, it is not showing me that the, the font size what I need to do is just to click outside of the text uh, the graph itself and then click on the text box again and click on it again and go to uh, looks like okay let me do it one more time okay and see there you go okay i just click outside and click back in again it allows me to to highlight the text and i can change its size all right